So with the hype around Streets of Tarkov and the big .13 patch wipe, I figured it'd be a good idea to not talk about Tarkov at all in this video. Big brain YouTuber plays, guys. Seriously though, I actually have been enjoying the new Tarkov patch and we'll have a video on that soon, but another game in the extraction shooter genre has poked its head out of the grass, and I figured it'd be time to talk to you guys about it. Now, it's early and it doesn't have a lot going for it, but that's okay because not everybody likes Tarkov's gameplay, but I know for a fact that there are people out there who enjoy the tone and the vibe of Tarkov, but just don't like that clunky gunplay. They want a more streamlined experience with all of the bells and whistles that Tarkov provides, but actually feels good to play. Enter Project Quarantine. Now, I, I never thought I would be happy to see the word quarantine again, but here we go. That's all I got, guys. <laughs> There's only one mission right now, but you can play that mission right now for free on Steam. These guys have a demo out, and while it's very basic and very early, there's enough meat on the bone to really take a bite. You drop into your hideout, which has a basic firing range, a vendor where you can purchase over a hundred different attachments, handguards, barrels, foregrips, sights, ammo. This was easily the most impressive part of the demo for me, and I like that they already have this system in place to kind of build upon it with more content. There's only one mission in the game right now, which I was pretty disappointed with, but for a demo, like, I guess it's okay. If the devs are using it to see what kind of builds their players are playing on, I mean, I, here you go. There's just not a lot of replayability here. I would have loved to see some sort of, like, kill house mission, maybe some procedural generation, just to keep it fresh and keep people playing. But for right now, one mission in the game, you get it from this computer here, you grab your quest, and you're off to the races. Now, one thing I will say right off the bat, and you guys are seeing it here, as soon as you get into game, the level design here is easily the worst part of this demo. I think it, everything just looks really washed out, uh, really faded, they got fog everywhere. I feel like I'm playing Dead Matter's first alpha test at this point, but that being said, I will say the gunplay here is actually pretty solid. It reminds me a lot of Ground Branch. If you have an, like an EOTech and you want to like flip down the sights, you can actually pop it up with this wheel menu that comes up from your middle mouse button. It's essentially trying to be an Escape from Tarkov style game on Unreal Engine. And like I said, I know there's a market for that. Now looking on the website, you can wishlist the game on Steam and they also have exclusive Patreon access. So I'm looking at it here. There's three different tiers. You have enlisted officer and special division, $750 a month, $1450 or $29. Now, granted, these are Canadian prices, so it'd be around what five to twelve to maybe $25. And every one of these tiers gets you access to development test build, and then obviously you get more behind the scenes content. You can get your name displayed in the credits, you get exclusive Discord roles, and it's basically a way to support the project. They're basically following the operation harsh doorstop method and you know there's nothing wrong with that these guys are according to them going for a single player and co-op focused gameplay loop so I don't quite know if there's going to be much PvP but this is all just kind of coming out here in the last couple of days so I'm not quite sure where the vision is they call it a full-scale tactical first-person shooter and I gotta say for a first look demo it's it's looking pretty decent I played a lot of very shit demos and I will say this reminds me of the first time I jumped into ground branch now some of you guys might like that, some of you guys might not. For me at this point, I, there, there's not enough here to really put my money in and be like, I'm going to back these guys on Patreon, but there is enough here to make me interested in following along with the project. Now, one thing I will say is when I'm looking at indie developers, I'm looking at their project, their Steam page, the website, all of that, the one thing that really makes me scared and is always a red flag and has always steered me in the right direction is their punctuation. You can see so many spelling errors. You know, when you look at their Twitter, it says pro quarantine. You look at their website, exclusive. Like, when I see a team like this putting out a game like this and... It, it just feels rushed when I start to see more stuff like this pop up. Hell, even when you're in game, the name of the build at the top right is spelled wrong. And I know that's something little to a lot of people. For me, it shows that they rush certain things. 
They didn't care enough to check their grammar, and they didn't ch care enough to check their spelling errors. And I, I know when I was making the Steam page for our game Transients, I went through that bitch a hundred times made sure you know what I mean like it's one of those things it shows that you're caring about every aspect of the project now I will say the game does have potential it really just depends on how much resources these guys can get how many more people they can bring onto the team there is something here it all comes down to execution from the team side and and it really just it, it, that that's that's where we're at I hate using the word potential because, I, I mean, every game has potential if you have the money, the team, the, you know, the resources to do it. Every game has potential, so it's really tough to say that. There is something here. It's interesting. I like the premise. It's Tarkov, but not Tarkov. It's like a nice little love child between Tarkov and Ground Branch. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like that idea. But as always, I ask you guys, what do you think of Project Quarantine? Do you think it has potential? Do you think it's going to make it anywhere? Or is it just going to be another FPS in the long list of FPSs that FPS? My name is Big Fry. Shout out to the 300,000 Fry Nation Strong. And I'll see you on the next one.